Hi everyone, it's Mr. Rosan here again. I've got a just a very quick video here to show you about sort of like a glitch, almost. it's not a glitch, but a, an issue with the scanner that you should be aware of and how to deal with it. So what I've done is I've just created a brand new program I call the User Input Problems and I just created a scanner here and I fixed my import and I'm ready to go here. So I'm going to show you what the error is and I'll show you how to deal with it. So let's say I've got something like I've got a string Let's call it first name or F name and L name for last name. And then I'm going to have an int for age and then maybe a double for a weight, something like that. And I want to fill those in with the keyboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just for the, the purposes of the demo, I'm going to actually get the first name first, then the age, the weight, and then the last name afterwards. So I'll show you what I mean and I'll show you what the error is going to be. So system out.print. Please enter your first name, and we're going to say f name equals input dot next line, and then we can do system dot out dot print. Please enter your age. Age equals input dot next int. And then we're going to do the weight. Please enter your weight. Weight equals input dot next double. And then the last name. Please enter your last name. And we say L name equals input dot next line. Okay. Now I know it seems weird that I'm getting the first name here and the last name here, but again, the video is to show you the, the, the error and how it behaves. Okay, so let's run it, and right now we're going to see something strange happen, I think. Okay, so first name is going to be John, uh, 50 years old, Okay, uh, weight, I don't know, 200 pounds. And then, boom, the last name, I didn't get a chance to enter it. Uh, it's almost like I hit enter here. So this is a weird glitch where I've seen this happen before. And uh, the reason it does that is because any of these numeric inputs, like next int and next double, what happens is that there's it's almost like an invisible enter symbol that comes at the end of it. So like when I put my weight is 200, I hit 200 and then hit enter, right? So what's coming in as, as my input is, is the 200, and then there's an enter symbol. An enter symbol is actually a slash n. That's what's coming in. So the 200 gets applied to weight, but the slash n sits in the keyboard buffer. Okay, then the new line or the, the enter symbol will sit there, and what happens is it gets applied right on there. So the next line is waiting for the next user input. It sees the enter, and it, it, it applies it. It's almost like it enter right away. So I'll show you how uh, I've seen people fix it, but this is not the way I would do it. So some people do this. They'll say, fix the uh, input error. They might do something like this, input dot next line. Something like that. That will consume the enter. It'll, it'll get rid of it. That should fix it, but this is not the way that I recommend you do this. So let's do it again. John Smith, you know, I'm going to be 50, 200 pounds. And this time I can actually type in a name, which is good. So that does work. But in my opinion, this is not a good way of fixing the problem. Um, what I would do instead is I would always, always, always use next line for every single input. So for both of these, instead of using next int and next double, I would use next line. The reason being is that next line will always consume the enter symbol and it won't give you any kind of errors. So this is how I would fix this. What I would do is, uh, on this one, I would go integer, oops, dot parse int, and I would put input dot next line. That's how I'd fix the first one. So next line, it'll return a string, which is fine, but the, it, the, fact, the fact is I need an int for this variable. That's what this will do. This will convert the string into an int. That's what parsing is. It's going to convert it over. For this one right here, this is a double instead. 
I would use double dot parse double of input dot next line like that. If I run it right now, it should behave no problem. Let's try it out. So John, age is going to be 20. Uh, I don't know, 200 pounds, Smith. And it works great. I don't have to put in the uh, artificial next line command. Uh, I'm only getting four user inputs, which is exactly what I want. And uh, this is the way that I would recommend you fix that glitch. Um, when you use next int and next double, that's no problem. But I would only use those commands in a program that had only numeric input. As soon as you start adding in string input like these ones, like with the next line, it'll sometimes behave weirdly. And then you're going to have to do this on every single one anyways. So I would always use next line and then convert it over to a double or convert it to an integer, uh, just like I showed you here. Like I said, the exception would be if I had a program that only dealt with numbers with no strings in it, then I would use next int or next double. So I hope that cleared it up a little bit, how to uh, deal with some of the issues regarding the scanner. It's just the way the scanner is designed, and it's just something you need to be aware of. And again, this is how I would fix uh, those kind of glitches.